What's up, everybody? Main boat guy back again. Today we've got a three liter Merc Cruiser. Um, should hold true for all your three liter GM engines. And this one's got some water in the oil, and she's definitely over full, so it's not condensation. Um, so we're going to see if we can figure out what's, uh, what's causing that to happen. This one is raw water cooled, so you're going to have differences if you do have a fresh water cooled engine. Um, so your pressure test is going to be a little different, obviously. You're going to pressure test it as a separate system, um, and then check in the manifold, but... Leak down test, I think, is the big one. Um, I'm going to pull the plugs out right now and see if we've got any discoloration uh, from water entry. And that'll help us pinpoint possibly a exhaust manifold um, because these are you know, exhaust and intake manifold in one. <clears throat> so it could be dripping down into the, into the bottom end when it's at rest. Um, could be a head gasket, could be a cracked block, could be a cracked head. Um, if it wasn't building up so much oil in the system, I'd worry about his thermostat. I mean, so much water in the system, I'd worry about his thermostat, but <clears throat> I don't think you'll make as much oil as this one's basically making, mixing so much water in there. So, but uh, yeah, let's see if we can uh, pull these plugs out. I'm gonna get this camera hopefully set up somewhere. That's All right, that's a little better. spot closed she doesn't look bad at all um, you'd be looking for it real clean real white if it's been burning trying to burn water <clears throat> Plugs in this. That one, same deal. Not bad at all. Another one, pretty good. Looks like it was burning. Pretty good. In my experience, the head gaskets are not a common issue on these. I suppose if you've got a lot of corrosion in there, um, you know, if it was a lot of salt water use, this one was fresh water use so I don't think the corrosion in there is going to be too bad to make it lose a head gasket exhaust manifold I think that's my that's my guess but I could be wrong I've been wrong before Uh, 
cheap little hub of freight, Sentec inspection camera. Take a look down in the cylinder. Let's see if we see any water, signs of water. I think if it was manifold leaking, it would be getting down in there through there. I can get the camera to look at the camera, but I'll try. <laughs> no, nope, it's not gonna let you see it. But I can see the I can see the water. Good amount of water collected on this back piston. So alright. Set up the leak down tester on that rear cylinder that was leaking. Um, basically, I got no leak out of it. I got a little bit going back into the crankcase, but yeah, it's just a little bit of blow by by the rings. Um, and I pressure tested it. The water, water portion, the cooling system of the engine. Um, basically, if I can get this camera to move in the right direction. There we go. Alright, so I disconnected the exhaust manifold out of the system. And then the water intake. Um, plugged this with an adapter with my Mighty Vac. Sorry, I should have showed a video of it. And then pressurized it to 20 pounds and it held it for a while. And then I just put a bilge plug in this end and <clears throat> put the hose clamp on it to seal it up. Um, so then I had noticed a bunch of rust down the side of the Sorry, my lighting isn't better. Down the side of the manifold there. So, and then I saw the RTV silicone, which shouldn't be on there. So I decided to pull the elbow. Um, and I noticed, first thing, the elbow is completely trashed right there. But let's see if I can get a, this in decent lighting. But you can see right there. Water passage is eaten right away. Basically all three of them. So it's just letting water run back down into the engine. Most likely as soon as he shuts the engine off. And it's going back and forth, dribbling in and out as it's as it's running. Of course I can't shine the light. Well whoop, whoop. Somebody slapped this gasket on there with some silicone in hopes of fixing it. <clears throat> so the manifold. Manifold doesn't look too, too bad. So. I think that's basically it. I think I'm going to try a exhaust elbow in it. We'll do an oil change or two and uh, we'll run it for a while. Check that rear cylinder, see if we got any water coming back in there. And we'll give her hell. Thanks for watching and um, if I have any updates, if it wasn't the issue, we'll, uh, we should add it right to the video. Have a good one.